Well, good afternoon, everyone. David DaCosta here with Harcourt's Prime Properties. We are back on the park bench in Carlsbad, and I have the wonderful pleasure to interview this morning, Anya Nova. And I'll just read a little bit from her signature line. Anya is the universal badass, music <laughs> musician, pixie dust generator, and expert dreamer. Welcome, right. Anya. So happy for you to join us. Thank you. This is this is great. I'm I'm glad to be here with you, David. Great. So let's jump right in. And uh, you're a again a master magician and all those other things and more. But tell us what you're up to lately and uh, describe your business for us. Sure. Well, just for your audience, just a quick background. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. The last 15 years, I was in the IT and cybersecurity space. This was a company I started back in 2016. And then I recently exited uh, about five months ago. And now what I'm doing, um, and uh, during that period of time, I came up with a product. And I have been in product development for over, like, I want to say like three years, developing the product that I that that's the whole idea of my new venture that I started this year in January. And so that's my background. So this is my second venture. I love business. I love taking ideas and making them come to life. And so my new business is called Alpas Athletics and it's a women fitness athleisure brand. And really the soul of the brand is to empower women and give them you know, fitness apparel that can help support their fitness fitness journey. So that's sort of like my the goal that I, I have for um, launching this this brand. But the core products are really what I'm excited about. So the product that I have been um, working on and I have a patent on it is the first ever of its kind high performance strapless sports bra. So it's not it's not patent pending. The patent has come through for oh. you. Patent. Yeah, it's patented. I've been, you know, I got the patent issued last year in August. So Fantastic. I'm so excited. Yeah. So that the reason why it took me a little while uh, was because obviously, you know, I did my market research. I did my, you know, the, the, pat, the path to get my patent, like in the process and approved. So it takes some time. And then developing a product from scratch, you know, especially if there's not like it out there. It, it was fun for me, but you know, it, it, there is a process. So it did take, like I said, about three years for me to get to where I'm at today. Well, good for you. This is very, very exciting. It is. So people ask, well, one, there's not a strapless sports bra in the market right now. So I am, I am making history. That's all I have to say. I am making history. And, you know, I do have a big vision for, for this product and for Alpha's Athletics as a brand. Now, people ask me, why strapless? Well, several, one, there's not one in the market. Two, well, I know the answer to that. I'm a male, but let me yeah. get, you don't like tan lines, right? Don't like tan lines. Look, look, even right where I am wearing, I like to show my, you know, just a little bit of this, but and the, the worst thing for me, I'm a hiker and a runner. And this is the reason why I came up with this product because I love to spend time at the beach. I love to be outdoors doing all of the active stuff, hiking, jogging, walking with my girlfriends. And after being out there for several weekends, you get different tan lines, different straps, different areas from all the different tops that you wear. And that's the reason why I created the strapless sports bra. And then another problem that along with it that I fixed was the current sports bras out there are either too binding for support because I'm a jogger too. And it's hard to, to put on and remove, especially after you've like have sweat, right? And so the way that I've constructed it is just easier on, easier off. And then the other thing is better support. So it minimizes breast bounce. And some of the sports bras out there that are you know, widely used, there's not enough support to minimize that impact. And my strapless sports bra, the way that I have um, engineered it is to really give the support that's really in the front and the back and the fabrics I've used. So wow. that's my- You know, so many things. I mean, I've done patents before, but, but an endeavor like this, 
you know, breaking barriers and first ever making history. This yes. is truly earth shattering, groundbreaking, all of the above, Miss yes. Magician. So, yes. um, so that's the idea of like master magician. I'm a master dreamer too, you know, and so gotta have the dream. we, I'm in a playground where I'm at, like I'm in my own world and it's sort of like being a child again and putting these little pieces together and letting my imagination kind of just be free and wild. What fun. I, I respect you so much, but also uh, admire you two very much at the same yeah. time, because that is such a very special place for an entrepreneur to be in, you know? Yeah. So and that's really the magic place for entrepreneurs, right? I mean, there are several different, like different people have many different gifts. Not one person as an entrepreneur is alike. We all have our own unique talents and gifts. So and sometimes yeah. this, this process that you're in can be the most fun part of the whole journey, you know, who knows? I mean, obviously you're going to bring it to market about now and we'll talk more about that, but uh, right. you know, after that, you know, it gets out there, it gets marketed, it gets sold and maybe you sell it down the road. Who knows? I don't know what your exit strategy is, but mm -hmm. what, what's been the biggest surprise Anya for you so far in this new venture? The biggest surprise for me is just, you know, I wouldn't say the biggest surprise. I think for me, it's more like how it has been like well received. And I knew when I created it that I'm making something like people have been missing on like, and I get a lot of questions like why strapless I didn't never thought about that it's sort of like, remember how the iPhone first came out, we didn't knew we didn't know that we needed the iPhone now it's like the standard right like the touch screens. So for me, the experience of that people like I never knew I needed a strapless sports bra but now that it's out there I want one. So for me, that's exciting. It's more of like getting the feedback and it excites me to keep moving forward. It's the fun part of it. It's the validation part of it. Sure. So moving forward a little bit, when is this going to hit the market? Where are we in the, can I pick it up at the store tomorrow or online or talk? Great about question. So right now, because I'm bootstrapping this, I, this is the part that I love to like creating a new venture from the very beginning with my resources and I'm leveraging what is available out there. So right now, the way that I ma I'm making this available is through Kickstarter. So I have an active project right now. And basically I'm raising funds to fund the first round of production as a new brand and especially with product, there's minimum inventory required to make, right? So the way Kickstarter work is obviously, it's sort of like a pre-order, although Kickstarter is not a pre-order site, but basically I want to get pre-orders up front, meet my minimum funding goal in order to do that first round of production. And then after that, then get into, you know, e-commerce. So it's, I'm taking it in phases, but for you to get and secure a, either a strapless sports bra. And so let me talk about the everyday wear bra. The strapless sports bra works so well, I stripped it back for everyday wear because another problem I'm solving with stra current strapless sports bra that ladies wear every day, we hate wires, I hate wires. They never stay on, you're constantly having to pull it up all day long and it's like so uncomfortable. So my everyday wear bra, you put it on no wires, full support, and you forget about it and you feel like you're getting a big hug. So that's the other product. So there's actually two products that you can secure on Kickstarter. And it's really like backing a reward. So one is the strapless sports bra, one is the everyday bra. And then my campaign goes on till um, it uh, went active, went live on March 24th. And it's going to be active through May 8th. Maybe. So for ladies who want to secure their, their pair, go to Kickstarter um, or go to Alpha's Athletics. And I know you're going to share this on the show notes, David. And then there's um, a hyperlink from my website to my current Kickstarter project where, you know, people can go there and either support the cause and they just believe that it's, it's such a great idea or back a back a reward or really equivalent to a product so and then from there i go into production yeah so right now you can't go into the store and pick one up i'm still in the phase of getting my first round of production because i have to meet certain minimums perfect so quick question 
if yeah. I have this investor friend or somebody says, you know, I got this hundred thousand burning a hole in my pocket, mm -hmm. uh, is that welcome? Yes, that's an oh, open okay. conversation. Just, just just checking. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I have got anyway, that's going to be a, a offline topic or an sure, offline sure. conversation, but I am open to other um, investment type, you know, partnerships with Alpha's Athletics, because I know this brand is beyond me, David. I'm not greedy. I want to make sure that this, this brand and this product makes it globally. Fantastic. Well, that's such a great vision and uh, you're such a wonderful person. I can't think of anybody else to be more successful in a venture like this. And uh, oh, let's keep you. it away from the sharks for the meantime, okay? Yeah, and everyone's like, oh, we can't wait to see you on Shark Tank. Yeah, that's also a platform that I'll definitely leverage if I am invited to go. So I know, I, you're, I, I, know, I know you're super busy and I don't mean to cut you short, but uh, just just some quick contact info on you again and how best to contact you. And then we know that you're going to, we're going to see you on parkbench.com forward yes. slash Carlsbad because you're a Carlsbad based North County business. Yes. I'm right at the beach. Carlsbad birthplace of Alpha's athletics. <laughs> and I, I saw your video the other day and it's just so well put together. So folks out there in uh, zoom land, Definitely check out this video. You'll see a link to it on the Park Bench website. Anna, thank you. Anya, I'm sorry, I, I, I mispronounced. It's okay. I myself. It's okay. So thank you so very much for giving us this time. And we want to wish you on behalf, behalf of Harcourts and Park Bench the very best success in this venture. Thank you, David. I'm happy. I'm happy to share. And thanks for allowing me to share with you what I'm up to. Perfect. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks. Thanks.